Okay, here we go. Ooh, oh, look at that. Oh, my. <laughs> Welcome to the Crystal Collector. Today, we're gonna be melting this metal called bismuth. It's a pure metal, just like you're seeing here. We ordered this online last time from about a year ago. You can see a video where I used 10 pounds. This one chunk is 15 pounds, and all together, we've got 75 pounds of this stuff to turn into some awesome iridescent bismuth crystals. Let's check it out, get her done. Stick around and you're gonna see all of these made in this video is epic. Watching this bismuth metal melt and then form into these crystals. Oh. What? So in order to be able to melt this bismuth metal, we're using propane and I got this huge deep fryer. So what we're gonna be doing is using this fried cooker to melt the bismuth. I'm not sure how long it's gonna to take to melt 75 pounds, but let's get her done. So I've got 10 pounds of bismuth from the last video. I'm gonna put it in as well. We can reuse it. All right, it's a little bit chilly today. And while this is heating up, 686, has got us taken care of. Be sure to check out that link in the description. You're gonna to wanna to skim off the top part after it's all melted down the slag and get that material off. It floats to the top, so it's pretty easy, but you really gotta get every bit of that out of there. So you can see here, the entire thing we've got is melted up. Now, we just need to wait I'm gonna put on these safety glasses because we're dealing with hot metal. It's almost like lava. It took almost an hour for this stuff to uh, melt. So maybe like 20 minutes, we're gonna let it cool down. And the longer it cools, these crystals just start growing from the top and the outside and grow inward. So you don't wanna let it completely cool down without doing something because then you'll just have a huge thing of uh, pure bismuth again. So what we've got to do is just kind of guesstimate when those crystals are forming and when we're gonna pull them out. And that is the beauty. Ooh, Imagine nice. Nice. these bismuth crystals. Nice, look at that. So you guys be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on and also wear your safety gear. So if you're curious to why I've got this brick around the border, it's actually to keep it insulated because the slower you can get this bismuth to cool, the bigger the crystals will get. All right, guys, it's been like 45 minutes, but we are using 75 pounds of bismuth. Yeah. Ooh. Now watch the change of colors as it cools. Look at that. It's going to be a nice wow. purple. Oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> That's Oh, look at that. I'm just gonna, well, I can probably hold it. Tilt it up just a hair. Switch it around, look at that. Oh, the color change is epic. Okay, so this is gonna be a good batch here. All right, we're ready for another one. Come on out of there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, nice. Going from pink to purples. Look at the blue on that one. Oh, sweet. Okay, I gotta hurry up and get this one out. Here we go, ready? Oh! <laughs> Let me set it down. Come check it out. As that color changes, get this thing unstuck real quick while it's still warm. 
Oh, I kind of. There we yeah. go. <laughs> Sweet. So already we're starting to pull them out, getting them left and right. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yep. There's one. Oh, I dropped that one. Oh. Man, you can't drop them. It's really hard. I've got to get some better equipment than these tweezers. All right, here we go. Let's try not to drop this thing. Where's my, uh, here we go. All right, is you only get one chance with these. Oh! I just grabbed it, went with it. We dropped one, <laughs> but looking pretty cool. Look at that color change. Nice and purple. Going to a blue. <laughs> what? This one, this piece dropped on the ground. Oh, that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Look at that. Not bad. That's the one that dropped to the ground. This one having more of a golden look with a few colors as well. Oh, that one's huge. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just pulled out a bunch of cool small ones. This is, oh, this always is so, I'm so nervous. I'm just going to have to pull. Okay. Bring outside it. You know, I'm gonna just, just in case. How is it? Ooh, it's okay. It's okay. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of weird. Maybe. A little weird. Pulling it up from straight up like that. I don't know if that's a good idea, but kind of cool. We get the color change. <laughs> All right. We'll take that. Probably have a few smalls to pull out still. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Not bad. Yeah, that'll pull right off. Look, that's just like a flake. Nice. So we're starting to figure it out here. Ooh. <laughs> nice. Killer. Oh. Oh, I dropped it. <laughs> that's all right. That's our main one there. Okay, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Woo, okay. Always nervous doing this part, but you just gotta grab it and go with it. Oh, oh. not bad. Got a couple good ones here. We're still getting this effect. I can't figure it out why some are doing that and why some aren't, but that's still pretty cool. We'll take it. Getting her done. Look at that. Ooh. Look in there. <laughs> Look at the change of colors. As it cools, that is awesome. Now it's going more of a blue color. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Apparently these are gonna be pretty big. Yep. Oh man, they're falling back in there. Oh man. Oh if I can get this, this will be good. Oh, I dropped it. 
Oh, I think I'm still okay. Look at that. Oh. Okay, let's just go and go. We got to get this big one out. It's going to be huge. Oh! oh! What? Oh, that's the best yet. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Check out the color change. Showing it at all? Yeah. Got a good shot. Nice. Here it is after it's cooled down and gained its permanent coloring. Beautiful. Uh, ooh. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I kind of put it right in the center of it. <laughs> it's got the, the mark. Oh boy, that was the one that I really thought I completely ruined. I dropped it, but apparently what I'm finding out, you guys, if you can keep the heat going just the tiniest bit to where it starts to cool from the top, but it still stays warm a little bit, you don't get the sloshy look. I think that was my error earlier. Look at these. Oh man. So we're starting to get the hang of it. I would say so. Nice. Okay, here we go. Ooh. Nice. Let's take it over here. Get it back in. Just. Yep. There we go. <laughs> this one. I don't want it to touch that one. So yeah, let's go ahead. Nice oh grab. my nice goodness. Grab. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh can you see this? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at that awesome hopper form. I don't know. I'd say we go ahead and pull it. Oh, oh nice. Nice. Oh, nice. Cool. <laughs> Might just have to slide it off. Yeah. There we go. It's turning like a neat awesome. purple. There it is. Cooled down with the right temperature. Showing those awesome colors. Okay, here we go. Ooh! Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. That's the Let's best yet. Color, color change. That's it. Oh, wow. Ooh, oh, be, it's it going to crack. Breaking, yeah. It's going to crack. I might have did that just now, but I don't know. That's okay. That's still two. They might harden together. pieces, yeah. It's gonna, it'll go ahead and crack off, but we'll let it. We'll let it uh, that's still nice. So here Look are the two pieces. Look at that. That one really raised up beautifully I mean these formations look like they're from outer space and here's the other half a little more flat but still cool all right those are good those are pretty big let's go ahead and pull ready here we go yep Nice. Look at that. We'll just leave it. Let's see if I can get it off of here without putting any stress on it in the bottom. It looks like a city. There we go. A little sloshy, but pretty good. So this one turned out very nice. So I'd say by the end of the day, I've gotten to start to figure these things out. Pretty fun. Just be sure if you're going to try this at home to wear all that safety equipment, you guys. At the end of the day, we did very well. The more I pulled these things out and spent time 
experimenting and messing around, the better the crystals got. Every now and then I'd have a weird batch, but the good thing is you can just keep trying it over and over. I mean, look at these. Well, they're called hopper crystals, the way they form. And after doing it a while, I think they really form pretty quick. I mean, look at this one. This was one of my favorites. I mean, wow. I believe it, as the night went on, the batch started to get lower in the pot, and they got a little bit kind of like this one. It didn't get as good. I didn't have a picture of or a video of this one being pulled, but you can see just still awesome. This one I actually dropped back in, and then it attached. I let it sit there a while. And all the crystals attached to this little thin layer there. Really neat. It's really fun. Like I say, if you're going to try this at home, please be careful. This is super hot metal. Even these small ones. Look at that. Beautiful formations. Ended up getting tons of these small ones. They're really cool. We'll be adding lots of these as bonuses in the eBay store. Check the link in the description and the Facebook page. Check them out, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks for the support. And speaking of support, this one looking like a Christmas tree will be given away on the Facebook supporters page. Also, link in the description. Thanks for watching to the very end. You guys are what make all of this happen, and it's much appreciated.